pop. 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 My name is D. Nerxi, initial D. I'm going to read a poem by Lorca, a poem that I love and has influenced me a lot. This poem is called Romance de l'Emplazado, and I'll read this in Spanish and English. Mi soledad sin descanso, ojos chicos de mi caballo, y grandes de mi cuerpo no se cierran por la noche ni miran al otro lado donde se aleja tranquilo un sueño de trece barcos sino que limpios y duros escuderos desvelados mis ojos miran un norte de metales y peñascos donde mi cuerpo sin venas consulta naipes helados Ballad of the man whose name was on the death squad list. Loneliness without rest. Tiny eyes of my body, huge eyes of my horse. Never close at night or glance to one side where a dream of 13 ships recedes in silence. No cold and hard sleepless bodyguards. My eyes are fixed on the north of flint and mineral where my body without veins tells its future in frozen playing cards. Los densos bueyes del agua embisten a los muchachos que se bañaban en las lunas de sus cuernos ondulados y los martillos cantaban sobre el yunque sonámbulo insomnio del jinete, insomnio del caballo. The thick-waisted water buffalo charged the small boys who were bathing in the moons of their undulating horns. And the hammer cried out on the sleepwalking an anvil, insomnia the horse, insomnia the rider. El 25 de junio le dijeron a el amarto, ya puedes cortar si gustas las adelfas de tu patio, Pinta una cruz en tu puerta y pon tu nombre debajo porque si cutas y ortigas te nacerán en el costado y agujas y cal mojada te bordarán los zapatos seda de noche en lo oscuro por los montes inmantados pida luces y campanas aprenda a cruzar las manos y de los aires frías, de metales y peñascos, porque dentro de los meses ya serás amortajado. On the 25th of June, they told the bitter man, García Lorca, they told him you might want to cut the azalea in your courtyard. Consider painting a cross on your door and putting your name under it because nettles and milkweed will grow through your rib cage and needles of quick lime bite through the soles of your boots that's going to happen at night in the magnetic mountains where the water buffalo graze in the rushes and dream beg for church bells and candles learn to cross your arms and delight in the wind that tastes of flint and mineral because inside of two months you'll lie in your burial sheet. Esfadón de nebuloso, mueve en el aire Santiago, grave silencio de espalda, manaba el cielo con varo. St. James wielded a cloudy sword. The grave silence seen obliquely filled the vaulted sky. El 25 de junio abrió sus ojos amargo. El 25 de agosto se tendió para cerrarlos. Hombres bajaban la calle para leer al emplazado que figuraba sobre el muro su soledad con descanso. Y el sábado impecable de duro acento romano, daba equilibrio a la muerte con las rectas de sus paños. 
On the 25th of June, they told El Amargo opened his eyes. On the 25th of August, he lay down to close them. Men came running down the street to see the bitter man who cast on the wall that shadow of loneliness at rest and the impeccable burial sheet gave dignity to the corpse with the neatness of its folds. The question is, what did you find out from the last poem you wrote? If I'm going to answer that honestly, I think it might be something to do about toxicity of sentimentality. The poem had a sentimental premise, and maybe I was writing the poem to demonstrate my ability to love. And when I worked through that draft, I could see something toxic about it, you know an avenue in my life that would lead to resentment and, and, you know, there's an old movie by Bunuel in which the, there's a fascist character and there's like a moment where the fascist character is playing the guitar and singing my love is like a red, red rose. And there's no commentary, but it's a little a little bit of an insight into some kind of mysterious connection between positive sentimentality and some kind of latent violence. So that I'm talking about an unsuccessful draft where I thought, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go into positive affection if the poem can't back it up. <laughs>